Hi everyone, this is Dave Torno, and uh, welcome to a video tutorial for the Time Span After Effects script. Uh, this is a simple time tracker uh, slash punch clock type script that runs within After Effects, mostly geared towards freelancers to uh, keep track of their hours and pay rate. Um, it, it can also easily be used for pretty much anything that want, or anyone who wants to keep track of how long it takes to do a task or uh, any type of effect as well. Let me get started here. Uh, I have just a generic project open at the moment. To launch a script, you want to go to the window and time span V1. And this is our basic interface right here. Uh, when you first launch it, you'll see the actual day and date that uh, the script itself was launched and their start button a question mark which is our options button and then an R which is our reset button uh, now if you end up jumping right in and trying to hit start you'll get an error message um, there are preferences that need to be set up first before you can actually start timing so we want to hit our question mark which is our options and these are our time span options on the left here is a quick little description uh, about time span and what some of the controls actually do. On the right here we have our hourly rate for dollars and cents and we have our client name and our project name which you can see by default if you have a project open like I do here. That name is automatically populated. Uh, you can also type in your own name and change that if you like. And we have a choose folder which is going to be our folder path as to where the file is saved, our actual log file for our hours and times. Uh, and the folder path actually shows up here when we actually this, uh, choose it. And then you can just save and close all of these options. Uh, so we'll start with putting in an hourly rate here. We'll say $80. We're working at a very nice high paying place. And We'll put in a client name, the big boss, and I'll just keep this project name and we'll choose our folder. I'm just going to pick the desktop for the moment and as you can see it shows us where our path is just as a visual reminder. Now these checkboxes on the side here, by default the client name is checked. Uh, what this does is this is going to be the default name of our text file that gets saved to this location. The reason I gave this option is, uh, me personally, I've logged uh, projects that I work for a specific client. Uh, if you have more than one project under one client, sometimes it's easier just to say, here's my log for all of the big boss and every project I've done for that person or client. Uh, otherwise, if you want, you can actually save by the project itself and just isolate it. No big deal, just give you the option. I'm going to save and close here. Now that I've done that, I can start my timing. And this is also a dockable script, just so you know. So you can throw that into the interface there. So basically I've started my timing. Uh, this does not continuously run when you click start. Uh, just to give you an idea of the background process that's going on. I didn't want to tie up any resources, uh, memory, preferences, all of that stuff within After Effects and cause any issues with your actual workflow performance within the interface. So it acts more like a punch clock. So when you click start, you're clocking in. And when you click stop, you're clocking out. So those are the only two times that it really thinks about anything. And uh, so basically once you've clicked start, go ahead and do all of the work that you're going to do. And when you're ready to go to lunch or you're done with timing what you want to time, you just click stop. And it's going to tell you the name of the file here that has been saved and where it's been saved. So we're going to say OK. And I'm going to go to the desktop here real quick. Show you the big boss doc text. Open that up. Uh, now, by default, I open this in text edit. Uh, you can open this in any spreadsheet app or text edit uh, application uh, and it'll all be read easily. It's all simple text. Uh, the one heads up I will give you is it's by default tab delimited 
and that's just for organizational purposes. So if you do bring it into a spreadsheet app like Excel, uh, things will look a little more organized. Um, as you can see right here, like right now, our project column is right here. Our date is a little offset. Our in time and our out time. So in a regular text editor, you'll see this offset. Um, and, and this will happen just because of the way tabs are read in, uh, which I'll actually open this up in Excel just to show you uh, it's a little more straightforward. So you can see that we have our individual columns and everything's a little lined up better. So the default information uh, that we have here is the actual date that the file got saved, the client, which is the name that you typed into the client name window, and our project column, which is going to give us our project excuse me, project name, and it's going to give us our date, the time we clocked in, the time we clocked out, the total amount of time, in this case 56 seconds, which is not very long, and our hourly rate, and how much pay we get, and in this case, zero dollars, because I only worked 56 seconds. So, it gives you an idea of the overall uh, layout here. Uh, now, the one of the nice features of this is if I keep all of my settings the same, um, I keep the same client name and that's my file name as well, and my path is the same, then I can actually start another project. Uh, say I'm working on project number two, and that particular project I'm making 50 an hour, we'll say. Now, as long as I'm logging to the big boss, which is my main document, because this is for the same client, and that file is still located at the desktop, I can save this, and we'll start a new time. And we do all of our work, and I'll come back and stop, and we'll notice now that we have a new entry that's been saved. And this is doing that because it found the, the exact same name, uh, text file, in that particular location. So it automatically just continued to add to that file. So let me show you here real quick. Same boss text. And we'll open this with Excel. And we'll see that there's my second project, project number two. It was same date, shorter time, seven seconds and I was making 50 an hour for that and I still got paid absolutely nothing. So that gives you an idea of how you can do this for everyday use and uh, you're obviously more than free to switch these around say you want to save by project name uh, in doing so this doesn't exist currently in this location or any other location so it'll end up creating a brand new file so we'll start and stop just to show you. Go here and there's our new file. I'll just open this in text edit just to show you real quick. Right there. Two seconds on that one. And let's see. Uh, the reset button actually. I'll show you this option. Uh, say you started this by accident or changed your mind, whatever your reason, and you decide you want to reset this and start over, click the R button. It's going to ask you if you really want to reset it because once you do, it can't be undone. So if you say, wait, no, I, I don't want to reset it. I changed my mind. Just say no, things are still good. Still doing its timing. Otherwise, you can just reset and you're back to start. So I hope that uh, helps you. I hope you find this a helpful tool. And... Uh, Always, uh, definitely, being that this is computer-based, then if computers crash and everything, there are no backups of these files. It, it can't save all of the information. So definitely don't make this 100% uh, your only uh, resource for this information. Definitely keep track of your own hours and pay uh, in addition to this. So just think of this as a, a helpful extra tool to uh, kind of back up your numbers, hopefully. And uh, hopefully you enjoy it.